Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Sense of South Jersey. Uh, again, I'm Kellen. We're going to do another fragrance review and I'm going to keep on the uh, barbershop scent train here. I'm going to do another one. This is just going to be an individual one scent review um, and this is another classic that I really, really enjoy. Um, one that I've had now for a little while and it's one that is through the test of time and to me smells just so clean and fresh um, and that scent is going to be Paco Rabanne Pour Home. So what we'll do first is we'll take a look at the fragrances presentation. We'll start with a box. Um, it's a green mean machine. Uh, it's green and silver. You got the Paco Rabanne symbol right here, Paco Rabanne Pour Home. And then on the bottom here, you got Paco Rabanne Concentration Eau de Toilette, natural spray, 100 ml, 3.4 ounces. So on the top, you got a little bit of a logo embossed into there. It's for the Paco Rabanne. Silver um, looks like framing around the green box here. Shiny silver outline on the sides. You got nothing going on really um, on the bottom. You got maybe a serial number, batch code, or some information. And then on the back, you've got some maybe some more ingredients and some more information about the company. Simple box, classic box, clean box, cool box. Um, we'll take a look here. I'm gonna open it up. Now, the bottle itself really has the classic feel to it. And the first thing that comes to mind when I think of maybe like a classic fragrance is gonna be the sprayer that's built into the bottle. So you take a look at the bottle. Um, the bottle looks a lot like the box again, Paco Rabanne Pour Home on the front. Um, the sprayer's built in there. And on the back, you got nothing much going on. On the bottom, you've got, looks like a, it's painted on there, some of the information you can see here. Um, of that simple clean bottle, let's see the distribution. Pretty good, pretty good on that one too. So you can see that one. Um, mm, this one just really, really smells good. It's so clean and it, it's so fresh. It's an aromatic fougere. That's the uh, classification for this type of fragrance. Started in 1973, so it's been around, around a long time, way before I was born. Um, I just have a nose for these type of classic barbershop fragrances. The uh, nose behind this, or the person that designed it or created his name is Jean Martel. Um, let's see, the notes are rosemary and sage, that's on top and Brazilian rosewood, which is interesting. Um, I think the mid notes are going to be tonka bean and lavender and geranium. Uh, the base notes, um, I got a couple of them written down here. Honey, which I don't really get that much. Um, amber, definitely musk, absolutely, and oak moss, absolutely. I get that as well too. Um, it's just a really clean, classic, fresh, I would say sophisticated barbershop scent, very soapy. Um, you know, I think of this when I think of a barbershop. I did a video oh, about four common scents that I smell in a barbershop. This one would be like the barber's choice. He chooses to put this one on you too. Um, they have an aftershave and I actually have that as well too. And the, the presentation on that is very similar to the cologne. In fact, it's identical, um, except you got a little bit more information on the top of the box as opposed to the other one here too. So um, the aftershave, same scent, great. Again, I like to layer. Um, you got these thing here, you got the bottle a little bit more clear. You can see um, from that that it is definitely something that um, is not as, Trans it's a little bit more transparent, I should say, than this. The, the glass is probably a little bit darker. Um, the, the cap comes right off here. And then on the top, you got this little rubber um, dispenser here too. But you gotta be careful because a lot will come out too. So um, I, you know, obviously this goes hand in hand. I did buy a small body wash and aftershave bomb. They're about this big and um, they're upstairs in my bathroom. And it, they were very old. I could tell I got it off Amazon. Um, and I don't know if they're even still good or not. That the body wash smells pretty good. It smells a little bit like the cologne, but just not as fresh. The aftershave bomb. I really need that. I have a thicker beard, but that's why I like to pair them all. I don't have them here to show you. I should have brought them downstairs. But anyway, they're they're about this big too. Um, but they're uh, this is a great classic scent. Performance is great. So this is a beast. It smells really really strong. Um, I'd say maybe about two three sprays max. Um, you're definitely going to have good performance out of it. The sillage is great too. People will smell you for sure. And uh, it's a clean scent as well. So um, I'd say I wear this particularly more during the day. This could be a great brunch scent, you know, or, or during the day. It could be formal or casual. I wouldn't really necessarily wear this as much at night um, as I would maybe some other things. I just think of barbershop fresh. You know, I don't normally go to the barbershop at night. So that's kind of where these kind of coincide. Um, 
But again, I would get probably seven plus hours out of this for me personally, especially when you pair it with this, so even more. Overall, this is a great scent. Um, it's classic, I like it. May not be for everybody, definitely not a young guy scent. Like I'm talking, if you're 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, probably wouldn't be into this as much. Um, I didn't really get into these Fougere type style fragrances until I would say my late 20s now. So, uh, but I'm, I'm in my 30s now. So I think that this is great. Uh, and if you enjoy this, it's definitely a cologne that you should add to your collection as well, especially if you like barbershop fragrances. So if, if you have an opinion on Paco Rabanne, Poor Home, or another barbershop scent that you prefer over this one, or if you like this one, you don't like this one, put a comment below. Let me know what you think, um, or subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care.